Good evening, committee chair, committee members, mayor, and members of the public. My name is Esteban Camara. I'm the health and safety officer for the Human Resources Department. I'm here today to present for your consideration Agreement 324-00411 with Natec International Incorporated for safety training services for the Public Works Department, specifically with a recommendation that the Public Works and Transportation Committee recommend that the City Council approve and authorize the Mayor to execute Agreement 324-00411 with Natec International Incorporated in the amount not to exceed $1.5 million for the maximum five-year term of the agreement. With the initial term of one year ending April 30th, 2025, after which the agreement may be extended for four additional one-year terms ending April 30th, 2029 for safety training services for the Public Works Department. Some background on why this contract is needed. The California Department of Industrial Relations, otherwise known as Cal OSHA, requires specific safety training for the construction and general industry sectors. The various divisions within Public Works fall under these two categories. To comply with Cal OSHA regulations and enhance safety for personnel, the city set out to acquire safety training on a range of crucial topics, including, but not limited to, confined space entry and rescue, hazardous waste handling, hand and power tools, trenching, excavation, and welding. Historically, the city has completed this training in-house or enlisted the services of external consultants to deliver specialized training for specific divisions. To expand a little bit on the background of the training that will be provided, here on the left, you see some of our public works employees performing a confined space entry into a vault that is needed to perform maintenance or any uh, emergency work to be done in those areas. And on the right, we have an example of an employee receiving training on how to properly use a, a self-contained breathing apparatus. This equipment is crucial for either responding to emergencies involving hazardous atmospheres or chemical releases, as well as performing routine maintenance uh, in those kind of environments that our employees may have to do. In an effort to provide consistent safety training to all Public Works employees, a safety training agreement was solicited for the following. Engineering, facilities, fleet services, parks, special districts, streets maintenance, traffic, water, wastewater, and environmental resources. Additional groups may be added on an as-needed basis. Another example of training that will be received for all public work staff is CPR and first aid training. And you can see an example here on the right of a previous class. The purchasing department released requests for proposal PW2469 for safety training services for the Public Works Department on December 26, 2023, with a due date of January 31st, 2024. Eight proposals were received from the following contractors. The proposals were reviewed by the purchasing department buyer, staff from the Human Resources Department, specifically the Occupational Health and Safety Administrator and the Health and Safety Training Officer, as well as staff from Wastewater Division, Senior Administrative Services Analyst, and staff from Water Division, the Water Operations Manager, and the AWPF Operations Manager. The scoring criteria consisted of the following factors. Contractor responsiveness and completeness of the proposal, qualifications and experience, history providing the services, past performance from references, and lastly, the cost. The evaluation group determined that Natec was the highest ranked proposer and recommended an agreement be awarded. Through this agreement, Natec will provide safety training services to the various public works divisions on an as needed basis. The not to exceed amount of this agreement with Natec International Incorporated will be $1.5 million. Available appropriations shall be used for the remainder of the fiscal year 2023 24, and funding for subsequent fiscal years will be requested during the annual budget process. In person safety training will be selected and paid for by each division on an as needed basis to meet OSHA regulations and individual division requirements. Payment shall be made when service is rendered and there will be no guaranteed spending amounts through the duration of the agreement. That concludes my presentation and I'd be happy to take any questions you may have on the night of the committee. Thank you very much.